gather around for some fantastic news. In this video, we're diving into the latest and greatest updates on Social Security. Brace yourselves for the scoop on $2,600 checks making their way to people in all 50 states. The IRS has rolled out some changes that affect not only Social Security SS, recipients but also those on Supplemental Security Income SSI, Social Security Disability Insurance SSDI, and folks grappling with low incomes. Let's get down to the nitty-gritty of these bigger Social Security checks. We want to make sure you're fully clued in on the extra financial support that's now available. Whether you're currently receiving SS, SSI, or SSDI, or if you're navigating the challenges of a low income, this video is your go-to source for key information to keep you informed. Ever wondered why these changes are happening? We've got you covered with a breakdown of the whys and hows. We'll help you understand who qualifies for these additional funds, the steps to apply, and when you can expect to see that extra boost in your wallet. Our mission is to empower you with knowledge so you can access the financial support you rightfully deserve. Stay in the loop with the freshest updates. Hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell to stay informed about everything related to Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and financial assistance for those with low incomes. Your financial well-being is our top priority, and we're here to guide you through these crucial updates. Welcome to Money Matters your hub for the latest on fourth stimulus checks and social security updates. For the first time, some retirees may find their budgets taking an unexpected hit a federal income tax bill on a portion of their social security benefits. Yes, you heard that right. In 2023, social security recipients received a substantial cost of living adjustment, COLA, of 8.7%. That's an average of $140 more per month, marking the largest hike in over 40 years. It's great news, right? But here's the catch this boost might just push some retirees over the income threshold, making a portion of their benefits taxable. Surprisingly, the bar is lower than you might think. Even a married couple with as little as $32,000 in combined income could find themselves facing a tax bill. As Mary Johnson, a Social Security and Medicare Policy Analyst for the Senior Citizens League, pointed out, we expect more beneficiaries to become liable for federal income taxes on their Social Security benefits for the first time in the upcoming 2024 tax season. So, it's crucial for retirees to be aware of these changes and plan accordingly. The extra income is fantastic, but let's make sure it doesn't catch anyone off guard during tax season. Despite inflation being significantly lower than its peak of 9.1% in June 2022, the highest in four decades, the impact of high costs continues to chip away at retirees' budgets. It's a tough situation that many in our senior community are facing. Before we delve deeper, make sure you're up to date on everything you need to file your taxes on time in 2024. Full coverage available in the description below. In December, Consumer prices surprised many by increasing more than expected. The Consumer Price Index, CPI, revealed a 0.3% uptick from last month and a 3.4% increase from the previous year. Among the items contributing to these rising costs are rents, electricity, gasoline, and car insurance. A recent survey by the Senior Citizens League found that over two-thirds of older adults reported a 10% increase in their monthly budget for essential items like housing, food, and prescription drugs compared to a year ago. It's a substantial burden on our seniors. And as if that wasn't enough, Medicare costs are climbing this year. The standard monthly Part B rate jumped from $164.90 to $174.70. Additionally, the annual deductible for all Medicare Part B beneficiaries is now $240 in 2024, marking a $14 increase from 2023. Ryan Hayes, a certified financial planner, shared his insights, saying, Many people see that Social Security benefits will go up, but they don't see that their Medicare premiums have gone up as well. This is a big shocker for many, and it emphasizes the importance of careful financial planning, especially for retirees. If you're in this situation or know someone who is, please share this video to spread awareness. If you're an individual filing a federal tax return and your combined income, including your Social Security benefit, falls between $25,000 and $34,000, you might find yourself paying income tax on up to 50% of your benefits. And if your income exceeds $34,000, 
brace yourself up to 85% of your benefits may become taxable. Now, for our joint filers out there, if you and your spouse have a combined income between $32,000 and $44,000, you could be facing income tax on up to 50% of your benefits. And if your combined income exceeds $44,000, well, get ready, because up to 85% of your benefits may be subject to taxation. As our expert, Ryan Hayes, mentioned, a lot of our clients will exceed the $44,000 of combined income for married filing jointly, and it is just something that is understood and we need to consider when planning for retirement. This is crucial information for retirees and those planning for retirement. Being aware of these potential taxes is a key part of financial planning. Share this video with someone who needs to know. These thresholds, established when the law taxing Social Security benefits was first introduced, have remained unchanged, not accounting for the effects of inflation over the years. Anchi Chen, Assistant Director of Savings Research for the Center for Retirement Research at Boston College, emphasizes the consequences of this, stating, because the cutoff doesn't grow with inflation, an increasing number of households, over time, will face taxes on their benefits. Anchi Chen also highlights that, keep in mind that even at higher income levels, only a portion of your benefit will be taxed. She adds that the effective rate the amount you actually pay is much lower for Social Security benefits than for typical taxes on other earned income. But let's ponder this for a moment. Mary Johnson brings up a compelling point. If those thresholds were adjusted to today's dollars, the $25,000 threshold would be about $75,330 and the $32,000 threshold would be about $96,424. This raises questions about the need for updating these thresholds to better align with today's economic realities. Share your thoughts on this in the comments below. It's not just about the social security check, it's about the big picture. Your total income includes your adjusted gross income, untaxed interest, and half of your annual social security payments. Now, here's where it gets interesting. If you're receiving Social Security, things can get complicated, especially after turning 73 when required minimum distributions RDs, from IRAs and other tax-deferred accounts kick in. The combined income from these streams can easily push you beyond taxable limits. The RMD amount is calculated by dividing your tax-deferred retirement account balance as of December 31 of the preceding year by a life expectancy factor from the IRS Uniform Lifetime Table. As your life expectancy decreases, the percentage of assets you must withdraw increases. Looking at the 2022 tax year, it could serve as a preview for what retirees might face this year when their tax bills come due. A survey by the Senior Citizens League asked 4,375 older taxpayers if they had to pay federal income tax on a portion of their Social Security benefits for the first time, coinciding with a 5.9% cost of living adjustment, COLA.